Now, the war on free speech continues non-stop with European satellite giant Utelsat and its Israeli CEO stepping up their campaign against Press TV and other Iranian channels. We've learned that Utelsat's Israeli French president, Michel de Rosen, is appealing to major satellite providers in Europe and Asia to take Press TV off the air. De Rosen has referred to EU sanctions on the president of the Islamic Republic of Iran Broadcasting as the excuse for banning Iranian channels. However, EU foreign policy chief's spokesperson, Michael Mann, has confirmed to Press TV and that EU sanctions have got nothing to do with banning Iranian media outlets. Earlier, one of the main pro-Israeli lobby groups in the U.S., the American Jewish Committee, praised Utilsat's sister company, Hispasat, for taking Iran's Press TV and Hispan TV off the air. Well, let's go to Florida and talk to Scott Rickard, former American intelligence linguist. Welcome to the program. So, Mr. Rickard, how, how does the banning of Iranian uh, TV channels and radio channels uh, alike uh, mix with uh, Europe's claim of free speech? Well, it's obviously a, a, a chance for them to cover up the truth coming out of uh, world media. Thankfully, Press TV gives a voice to the voiceless like myself, and they don't like it. I mean, Press TV puts out some extremely controversial pieces that expose the underbelly of Western censorship. The censorship is actually happening in my society. Most people watch TV in the United States, and they don't know nothing about world affairs. Thankfully, stations like Press TV are giving the chance for people to talk about things in the open. Now, saying that, there's guys like uh, uh, Daniel Pipes, for example. He was on a program uh, a few weeks ago. Daniel Pipes said something along the lines of, the reason that we're censoring Iran, and this is ridiculous, it's a joke. I challenge Daniel Pipes to uh, debate this any time. But the reason that we're censoring Iran is because Iran is censoring our materials going in. Well, I, I, first of all, I don't blame Iran if they're censoring American materials. We have the biggest production of propaganda in the world. I mean, National Geographic last night was running a SEAL Team 6 program that was just horrible. I mean, it was incredible, incredible uh, um, propaganda about what happened with the fake Osama bin Laden takedown. So if the fact is, Americans watch 35 hours of television every week and they know nothing about what the world affairs are and what's going on. So I completely disagree with the fact that the censorship it has is, uh, that Iran is supposedly doing on the West is, uh, um, is worse than what the West is doing to its own society. It's incredible. Indeed, and it's interesting. We see a lot of Israeli influence in this chain of censorship. Just how much uh, Israeli power is there in Western media? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, the, uh, the Zionist uh, movement, the political Zionist movement, absolutely controls media on the Western side. Well, I mean, in fact, globally. I mean, it goes all the way down into Australia. You've got uh, you know, Far Eastern and, and uh, you've got uh, Indian uh, television. It just uh, goes on and on. The British Empire was very effective at controlling media. I mean, they've been hammering uh, Iran for over 100 years, overthrowing their governments and, uh, you know, doing all kinds of criminal warfare in and around the area. You know, these, these governments go after mostly uh, uh, brown societies. Uh, you look how rarely they fight the white societies, but they're constantly in Africa, in the Middle East, in uh, South Asia, all over uh, 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 Southeast Asia. I mean, it's an incredible amount of uh, 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 basically double-edged uh, um, uh, media. The, the media constantly is uh, not criticizing the West for their incredible uh, imperialism and, uh, and terror around the world. And do you think we'll see uh, similar events uh, happen in the future? And so uh, the ultimate question is that what, what will the future uh, have and hold for free speech? Uh, it's not looking good. I mean, you have a, an incredible control. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of the better guys in the United States uh, uh, following it is uh, Mickey Huff uh, with Project Censored. Uh, he talks a lot about censorship. There's a lot of censorship in the United States, and there's a whole lot of problem with it, and it's been going on for you know, over 100 years. So what the problem that, that we run into is that most people aren't paying attention, and they're, they're enter over-entertained, and they're very misinformed in the, uh, in the Western societies. So until more uh, focus by people that, uh, small groups of people that are, are, are seeing the problem, until that focus becomes more centered and they start working closer together, uh, a lot more people will continue to be fooled by Western media. Indeed, interesting discussion there. And we'll have to leave it there for the time being. Many thanks to Scott Rickard, former American intelligence linguist from Florida. Thanks for your time there, sir.